I kind of was walking around and I said, this is like the Disney world of like ruins <laughs> because it's just, it's huge. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a real life theme park, except they didn't have to create it. It's, it's here already. Any, any <laughs> time that you would think of like, this is what mine ru ruins should look like. That's what Tikal is. Yeah. It's well, anyway, it's been awesome. i um, glad you traveled from the United States yeah. to come down here and visit and finally got me to Tikal. So it's amazing. While we were told that there are jaguars and pumas roaming the grounds here at Tikal National Park, the sounds you're hearing are actually the sounds of howler monkeys who come alive at the first break of light. This was also our first break of light here at Tikal since we had gotten in the night before, stayed at the Jungle Lodge, which is situated right near the entrance of Tikal National Park, and we woke up at 3.30 a.m., to meet our tour group in the lobby at 4 a.m. At that point, we walked through the pitch black darkness of Tikal National Park, not knowing really where we were going, trusting our guide to take us to Temple 4, one of the largest pyramids and also the site of the first Star Wars movie. From this vantage point, new pyramids could be seen as light passes upon them and allows them to just kind of pop up out of the trees. This was such a peaceful moment of reflection, one of the best sunrise experiences I've ever had. And despite about a dozen of us sitting on top of Temple 4, we were all completely quiet and still, just taking it all in. Just a little bit past 6 a.m., we climb back down from the 212-foot-tall Temple 4 Pyramid so we could explore to call by foot. One of the great things here is being able to see monkeys in their natural habitat. While the day started cool, the temperatures were starting to warm up with the light. This is the ceiba, which is considered the national tree of Guatemala. Our official guided tour ended around 8 a.m. and we got breakfast at the Jungle Lodge and then came back out here to explore to call on our own and we just felt like we had the entire place to ourselves. While our guide had shined a flashlight on the Jaguar Temple, Temple 1, during the pitch black morning walk, this was the first time we saw it during the daylight and it was magnificent as it stands in the Grand Plaza of Tikal. Here we are at Tikal, and you know what's amazing? These pyramids are so big. You just feel so small next to them. And they're just uh, so, so amazing. 
Well, today uh, was my first day at Tikal, and uh, it's just been amazing. We woke up and did the sunrise hike. Um, it was totally dark. We're walking through the jungle at 4 a.m. Get up there on top of uh, Temple 4 uh, from about 4.40 in the morning till about 6.10 in the morning just to watch the sunrise, hear the, the words of nature. Now we're in the Grand Plaza. Uh, this is just amazing. You see this in all the postcards and all the posters. And it looks like it does, except you're here and you feel so much tinier and smaller standing next to it. And we're on top of another one of the temples here. As you can turn around, we're really high up. So it's really, uh, really amazing. What a great, uh, it's hard to believe they did this, you know, uh, thousands of years ago and still standing right here in Guatemala. All right, I'm here with my friend Micah. We uh, we made it all the way to Tikal, and uh, Micah, tell me a little bit uh, about what you think about our experience today. Oh man, uh, it's quite humid, uh, but it's been <laughs> it's been incredible. Uh, just gorgeous, gorgeous area. Especially the sunrise hike was was really really nice. Uh, seeing the mist kind of roll in over 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 2,000 years of history uh, in front of you was was incredible. Uh, we when we started it was uh, it was raining just like a little bit as we started the hike out probably stopped 20, 30 minutes in. And uh, and then it was just beautiful, uh, cl sky cleared. Yeah, well, I, I mean, something I didn't expect was the amount of howler, howler monkeys that were just screaming uh, the entire time. Sounds like jaguars, but apparently it's not jaguars. Yeah, I thought it must've been some kind of jaguars, but yeah, yeah the howler monkeys or whatever. Uh, they're super, super loud. But I mean, it's just, it's insane to think that these buildings have been here for, you know, just, uh, some of them over yeah 2300 years yeah since before christ and they were uh they were used for about 1500 years mm -hmm. which is amazing when we think about like the united states we've been a, a country for like not even 250 years mm -hmm. and to think Just about so. one of one of our oldest buildings it doesn't even you know pales in comparison to to what we got here yeah um i kind of was walking around and i said this is like the Disney World of like ruins <laughs> because it's just it's huge. It's yeah. like a it's like a it's like a real life theme park except they didn't have to create it. It's it's here already. <laughs> any any time that you would think of like this is what mine ru ruins should look like, that's what to call is. Yeah. The, well, anyway, it's been awesome. Um, glad you traveled from the United States yeah. to come down here and visit, and finally got me to to call. So it's amazing. So we've just been walking all around, and it's like ruins for days here. I mean, just everywhere, more temples, more ruins. So right there, that's Temple 4, and that's where we started the day at uh, about 4.30 a.m., uh, sitting on top of that, watching the sunrise for about an hour and a half. We're, and we're actually looking at it from a temple called Lost World. And as uh, my friend Micah right there just said, he gets why it's called Lost World, because you could actually see the whole place from up here. <laughs> Thank you. 